Okay. Um, so here we have um, a box of money on a frictionless inclined plane at 37 degrees. So just drawing out this diagram, mostly based on what's given in the solution here. So we've got an M1 of um, 3.4 kilograms, an M2 of um, 1.4 kilograms, <clears throat> connected by a frictionless pulley. Um, so this angle in here is 37 degrees, and this angle in here is 59 degrees. And it wants to know what the tension is in the string. So to start off, um, I'm going to draw a free body diagram for our M1. And so we've got our MG and our tension, and then a normal force to the, to the um, surface. And I'm going to go ahead and define my axis system as running along the surface. So there's my X and my Y. And if we, so the tension <clears throat> is going to be completely in the X direction here. But we just need to decompose our mg force. Um, so just drawing this out again, this triangle here. So we've got a 37 degree triangle. And our mg is going to act straight down. And the similar triangle there, it leads to that being 37 degrees. And so then. If that's 37 degrees, then our um, mg force is equal to um, mg cosine of 37. Nope, sorry, I'm just gonna do this properly or the way I would normally do it. So minus mg, so the X direction is going to be acting downwards, so minus mg sine of 37 degrees i hat, and then the y direction will also be acting downwards, so minus mg cosine of 37 uh, j hat. Okay, so then looking at my x and y components, so in the x direction, we have f net x is equal to um, is equal to my tension is in my positive x direction minus mg sine thirty seven, and that's going to equal m m one, I should say times my acceleration in my x direction. So we haven't been told whether there is an acceleration, but we should probably assume one. Um, if I look in the y direction, then I would find that our f net y is just the normal minus the mg cosine of 37. And since it's not moving, that's going to equal zero. Not moving in the y direction, I should say. Um, so our normal, we could solve for our surface normal this way, uh, but we don't need it because it's frictionless. Okay, uh, but we will need uh, this equation. And we can see that we have two, we have one equation here, but two unknowns. So now if we look at the other mass, our M2 mass, um, and we 
we draw our free body diagram. So we have our tension and our mg force and our surface normal. I'm going to go ahead and define my axis system and just so that it's moving in the same direction <clears throat> I'm going to have x going down the slope and y going up the slope or y going away from the slope. Um, going in the same direction as far as the um, the, the accelerate the positive direction of acceleration is will be in the same uh, direction here so we don't have to worry about weird sign stuff. So again sketching out our triangle here this is a 59 degree angle um, our mass our m G force is straight down, which if we draw our similar triangle, that's our 59 degree angle. And so then <clears throat> now we can see that with our axis system drawn up top, our MG uh, sine of 59 is going to be in the positive direction and our mg cosine of 59 is going to be still in the negative direction. So if we look at our x force, our f net x is mg sine 59 and 2g sine 59 I should say minus our tension, so our tension goes in the opposite direction, is equal to m2 times our acceleration. And again, just for completeness, our f net y will just relate our surface normal to our, um, our mg force. Okay. All right, so now we have two equations and two unknowns. I'm just going to um, restate them just for um, just so that we have them. So we've got M1, or sorry, we've got T minus M1G sine 37 is equal to M1AX and we've got T, <clears throat> I can't uh, do this here, um, M2G sine 59 minus T is equal to M2AX. Um, so let's go ahead and um, divide out the masses in the two equations here. So our first equation becomes T over M1 minus G sine 37 degrees is equal to our acceleration X. And our second equation becomes G sine 59 degrees <clears throat> minus T over M2 equals our acceleration X. So now we can subtract these two equations um, to get that T. So if we subtract, we're going to have M1 over M1 plus 1 over M2 and um, minus G onto uh, sine 37 degrees plus sine of 59 degrees. And that will equal zero because AX minus AX will give us zero. So then we can solve for a tension as by rearranging this. And now we can place in values. So then our tension is uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, if we sum that up, that's 
four, five, eight, nine, eight. Our mass one was three point uh, four kilograms, and our mass two was one point four kilograms. So this comes out to be fourteen point one seven nine newtons. So then there's our tension in the cable. And then if we check the solution here, um, it comes out to 14.17, so that looks good. The only difference would be in some rounding stuff, but that's, that's okay. So there's our solution.